this assignment now. Why? What's wrong? What next class is? No. Sex education. What? Sex education. Yeah, hi. I'm gonna be in a club. The girls club. Yeah. Yeah, Mom, and I'm gonna lose weight. Yeah, all the girls are skinny. Do you think beating me up's gonna make you a man? I am a man. A boy. ordering for everyone. Oh, well, lucky you. Okay, all set. Uh, okay. Um, Denise wants two plain, Angie two powdered, Mandy two jelly, uh, Darlene two chocolate, Sandy two coconut, and Betsy two glazed. That'll do it. Nothing for you? Uh, no, I'm on a diet. Oh, and they sent you to pick them up. Yeah, well, um, I'm the only one with the car. And, well, I've got a lot of willpower, though. Oh, well, good for you. Are you in a sorority or something? Uh, yeah, well, it's a girls' club, really. Oh, ah, well, there you go. It's 310. $3.10. Thanks. Good night. Mm -hmm.
The assignment will be graded on content, on spelling, and on neatness. Yeah? Can it be typed? No, I think you can all use a little work on your pen. Sure. Your name, please? Me? Yes. Jack Mason. And your reason for being late? I didn't get here on time. <laughs> you have no excuse, then? No. Report to me this afternoon at the end of your regular classes. I can't. I've got practice. Not today, you know. Look, I can't miss practice. We've got a big game on Saturday. Well, you should have thought of that this morning and been here on time. And sit up. What? You heard me. Sit up. People tend to think better sitting up. I'm only going to be your substitute teacher for the next couple of weeks. During that time, I expect your full attention and cooperation. And I expect you to be here on time. I enjoy teaching. I want my students to enjoy learning. So if we work together, I think we can have some fun over the next couple of weeks. So here we go. Your essay assignment, what a friend means to me. Now, I don't want you to use any relatives in the friend category. It can be a friend from here at school or someone you met on the outside. That makes no difference. Yeah. Can it be a boyfriend? No. No boyfriends and no girlfriends. I want this to be based on true friendship rather than just a crush. I think once you begin to really get into this subject, you're going to discover even more about the importance of a true friend. Jonathan. Hey, how's it going? It's not. Now, listen, you've got to get me out of this assignment now. Why? What's wrong? You know what my next class is? No. Sex education. What? Sex education. So? So? I don't know what to say to these kids. I mean, it's embarrassing. We never had this kind of thing when I was a kid. I mean, we learned what we learned from just sitting around with the guys talking. Yeah, know? and how much misinformation did you learn from just sitting around with the guys talking? A lot. But... So, uh, I'm afraid you're wrong, Dr. Kinsey. Jonathan! school 500 times? I think you're a little old for that, sir. I've been going over your progress reports. You keep going the way you are, you're not going to graduate this year. So? You mean so? Is that all it means to you? Hey, a lot of people don't graduate. What's the big deal? I mean, I'm out of here this year, diploma or not. And what are you going to do then? When everybody else does, get a job. What kind of a job do you think you're going to get with a high school diploma? Don't start that crap. I'm going to get the same kind of job with or without it. My old man never even went to high school. He's done all right. Well, I bet if your father had it to do over again, he'd have gone for the diploma. Oh, he knows it don't mean nothing. I mean, come on, a year after you graduate, you forget half the stuff you learned. You know, if it wasn't for playing ball, I'd quit a long time ago. So, you think school is just one big fat waste of time? Yeah, I do. Spend most of your time learning a bunch of boring stuff you'll never use anyway. That's true. You like sports? Yeah. Do you just go out and play the game, or do you work out? What are you talking about? You know, working out, getting in shape, exercise. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't like to work out, but you got to get in shape. Well, life's a game you're going to be playing a long time after you hang up the cleats. It's a game you play with your body and your mind. That's why it's important you get your mind in shape. Oh, sure, sometimes you have to learn some things you'll never use, and sometimes it's very boring, sometimes it's tough. But not as tough as it is out there. That's why you got to see to it that mind gets some exercise. So in the next few weeks, I'm not going to be your teacher. I'm going to be more like a coach. I'm going to exercise that mind of yours. What if I don't want to? Oh, what would happen if you went to your baseball coach and said you didn't feel like working out, just want to play in the games? You'd kick me out of the team. Right. Well, I'm going to do the same thing. You don't work out for me, I'm going to kick you out of school. You kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you, Jack. 
You're not here to take up space or waste people's time and money. Being able to go to school is a gift, and the way you say thank you for that gift is by learning. I want to arrange with another one of the students to tutor you in math starting tomorrow. I have to practice the course. All right, go on, play ball. That's it? I can go? That's it. Now, Jack, you care if you lose a game? Sure, I care. No one wants to be a loser, right? That's funny. I thought you did. Let's go. School's over. Mark, you all right? Shelly, you won't believe what I found out today. Aren't you through with your homework yet? Uh, just a few more minutes, Mom. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Do you want to see me, Mr. Smith? Oh, yeah, Jenny. Come on in, Jenny. Jenny, I want to ask a favor. Sure. Well, there's a student in my class who's fallen way behind in algebra. He needs some tutoring. And since you're the class whiz at algebra, I was just wondering if you could help him. You know, maybe two, three times a week after school. Guess I could. I'm not going to kid you. He's very stubborn. It's not going to be easy. Do my best. I'm sure you know the boy. It's Jack Mason. Jack Mason? Yeah. He's over at baseball practice right now. Why don't we run over there and you can make some arrangements with him? Um. Uh, Something wrong? No, um. No, nothing's wrong. <clears throat> Good. All right, then, let's go. All right, all right. All right. What time should I pick you up tonight? Oh, I don't know. I should be home about 6 30 or 7. Okay, I'll pick you up at 7 30. Hey, Jack. You know Jenny Bates? Uh, yeah, I've seen her around. Yeah, well, Jenny's been kind enough to agree to tutor you at Algin. Oh, really? Thanks a lot. Well, she's free tonight, so you might as well get started. Mm, this evening, uh... What's the matter? What's wrong? Yeah, I was gonna go out this evening. It's 7.30. Yeah, but you wouldn't want Jack to miss his chance to graduate. But he hasn't got much time left. He's got a lot of work to make up, don't you, Jack? Yeah, I suppose I do. OK, you're all set then. Jenny, thanks again. You live near the school? Um, uh, yeah, uh, Langley, 243. OK, I'll be over after practice, six or so. That's all right. It's fine, just fine. Going to her place? I'm jealous. Um, I'll see you about six or so. Thanks for breaking our date. Hey, I want to play ball. What was I supposed to do? 
Well, I mean, we could go all the way this year. Well, not with me. Hey, what was I supposed to do? Oh, nuts. No, no. See right here. Why? Oh, come you... on, what's the use? I can't learn this stuff. You just started. Yeah, well, I'm just stopping. Mr. Smith is going to expect you to turn this homework assignment in tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Hey, look, all I'm trying to do is get by to the end of the year so I can play ball. Now, couldn't you just do these problems for me? I mean, it'd only take you a couple minutes and then I'd be out of here. No, I can't. Why? Come on, I mean, nobody'd know. You would, and I would. Well, I'm sure as hell not gonna tell anybody. I can't. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to you. Oh, that's the dumbest line I've ever heard. Come on, be a friend, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. Hey, when they kick me out of school, you just remember whose fault it was, all right? <laughs> Here's a good one for you, Janet. What's the definition of a dead atheist? I couldn't guess. All dressed up and no place to go. <laughs> That's cute, real cute. What kind of homework assignments you give out today? None. I mean, what kind of homework are you going to give to a sex education class? I was talking about your history class. No, oh, that. I just had him read a couple of chapters. <phone rings> Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold on. Jonathan, it's for you. It's Jenny. Yeah, thanks. Hello, Jenny. No, no, no not at all. Oh, he did, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, I told you he was stubborn. No, no, no. You, you did the right thing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, thanks for calling. Good, huh? Yeah. He asked Jenny to do his homework. She said no, so we split. Jonathan, I don't think you're going to be able to turn this kid around. Well, we shall see what we shall see. I'll be back. Where are you going? Go talk to Jack's father. I got it. Mr. Basin? Yeah, that's right. I'm Jonathan Smith, one of Jack's teachers. Oh, yeah. Is Jack here? Oh, no, no. He's, uh, he went out on a date. I wonder if I could talk to you for a few minutes. Who is it, Arnie? Uh, one, of, one of Jack's teachers. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, you like a, a beer or a soda? No, no, I'm fine. Hello. Oh, Mr. Mason? Uh, it's uh, Mr. Smith, though. I won't take too much of your time. I know it's late. I suppose you know Jack's been having a problem at school. He's not into drugs, is he? No, no, not that I know of. No, it's his schoolwork. You know, I'm afraid the way he's going, he's not going to graduate. Well, Mr. Smith, I know you're trying to help, but... Uh, you know, Jack's just never been much of a student. He's always squeaked by, but I think most of the time, teachers gave him a break because of sports, you know? Yeah. Well, he's not going to squeak by this year. Well, like I said, he's not much of a student. I was no great student either. I guess he's the chip off the old block. Yeah, well, certainly you want him to graduate. Well, hey, he does, he does. Uh, I never even went to high school. I'm doing fine. I know, your son told me. Matter of fact, I think he uses you as an excuse. What are you talking about? Well, what I mean is, I think he feels you're proud that you didn't finish school. Well, hey, let me tell you something. His age, I was working. I still am. The same company and the same job. It's been my 20th year. And that's very commendable. But, you know, it's tough enough out there for kids with a good education. He'll be fine. As 
Just like his old man. Be fine. Thanks for dropping by. But Mrs. Mason. I said uh, thanks for dropping by. Trying to help. Bald. He's trying to put me down. Looking down his nose at me because I didn't get no diploma. How many people you know had the same job for 20 years? Why, Arnie? Why what? Oh, well, I haven't been at the same job for 20 years. You've been with that company all this time and you never got a promotion. Hey, I work damn hard. Damn hard. Don't you forget it. Look, I was only... You think you can do better? You go out and get a damn job. mind. So you got me kicked off the team. Jack, I think we should discuss this after class. Hey, there is no after class for me. Thanks to you, I'm out of here. You haven't been kicked out of school. Oh, come on. I told you why I was here to win a championship. One lousy thing is all I wanted. One thing to remember from the stinking school. But you fixed that, didn't you? Oh, no, Jack, you fixed that. It's still not too late. The hell it isn't, you know? If you were a teacher, I'd bust your face. Come on, now what good is that gonna do? Do me good? You think you're such a big deal in the classroom, talking to us like we're kids? You think you'd be such a big man behind the stands with me? I don't know, let's find out, huh? Okay, let's go. All right, I want everybody to continue on with their test. No one leaves the room until I come back. Oh my God. Okay, anytime. I'm right here. Oh, I get it. I hit you first, and you call the cops, right? No, I'm not going to call anybody. All right, then let's get it on. What do you think this is gonna prove? Just shut up and fight. Do you think beating me up is gonna make you a man? I am a man! You're a boy! And that's not a put down. You're the age of a boy. You act like a boy and you fight like a boy. The trouble with you is you're probably always gonna be a boy. Well, I haven't got the time or the patience to mess with you anymore. I got kids in my class who are working on being grown up. And to be honest with you, they're better off without you around. Oh, come on, John, will you stop worrying? It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. I lost my temper. Hey, even the boss got ticked off a few times since he created this place, you know. Yeah, well, I'm not the boss. My job to help, not let my anger get in the way. Listen, Jonathan, if you ask me, the kid got what he deserves. I mean, when you were a kid, would you ever thought about hitting a teacher? Of course not. Yeah, there's your answer. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Oh, hello, Jenny. Hi, is Mr. Smith here? Yeah, sure, come on in. Hey, what can I do for you, Jenny? It's about Jack Mason. And what about him? Well, I feel as though it's my fault he got kicked off the team. Oh, come on, it's not your fault. You did the right thing. You wouldn't be helping him by doing his work for him. I know that. It's just that I wish he could have another chance. You know, lots of times people seem to be a certain way, and it's not always their fault. I mean, I don't know what he's been through or what his problems might be at home and all. But I just wish he could have another chance. All he wants is trouble. He brings it on himself. But that's just what I mean. He's not hurting anybody else, just himself. And that makes him a sad person, not a bad person. You're quite a lady, you know that, Jenny? Me? Yeah, you. 
Look, if I give him another chance, will you work with him again? Sure, I would. All right. All right, we'll try it again. Thanks. Try anything good? Hey, Jack. What? Did you find anything good? No, not yet. Well, what about a sporting goods store? You know all about that stuff. I bet uh, Mr. Deemer used a good jock for a salesman. He was the first one I called today. Yeah? And he said I'd have to get my diploma first. Oh, yeah? After all the business we've done in his store? Now, from now on, we buy your equipment someplace else. I don't else. need any more equipment, remember? Hey, don't raise your voice to me. Take it easy, you'll find something. All right, Jack. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Me or my dad? You. Oh, come on. You trying to tell me you're not going to clue him in on what happened today? What happened? The fight, man. I don't really call that a fight, Jack. Can I talk to you or not? Come in. What do you want? I can't even talk to Jack about going back to school. Well, he's not. Going out tomorrow, look for a job. You'll be fine. And what kind of job? Any kind he wants. I like the kind of Bill Deemer's sporting goods. How'd you know about that? Bill Deemer's an old friend of mine. Yeah, well, he's not a friend of ours. Look, you're wasting our time. Jackie, get a job. You'll see. Pay his way just like his old man. And where will he live? What? Where will he live? Here, with us. He'll chip in. Not gonna be no leech. No. He can't live here. What are you talking about? You heard me. He's a man. He's out of school. He takes care of himself. I just told you, chip in for the rent. And what about all the rest of it? The cooking, the cleaning, the washing? Oh, no. He either finishes school or he goes. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life taking care of you, too. Hey, now you listen to me. No, for a change, you listen to me! Look, I know that I'm as much at fault in this as you are. I didn't stand up to you when I should have. Well, there's nothing I can do about what's passed, but there is something I can do about what's happening right now. Well, he's my son. I say he stays with us. Then he stays with you, because I won't be here. I'm not going to watch him throw his life away anymore. Ellen? You see what you've done? Get out of here. No, wait, Dad. Mom's right, and he's right, too. He's giving me another chance. I should take it. All right, one more strike and you're out. I got you. Jenny's agreed to tutor you again. Hey, not her. I'll go back, but you give me another tutor. Why not? Because she's the one that got me into this in the first place. Well, you're always ready to blame somebody else, aren't you? It's either Jenny or forget it. OK. I'll be going then. And by the way, it was my idea to give you a second chance. When you see Jenny tomorrow, you ought to thank her. Look, okay. Why don't you go on and uh, tell your mother that you're going back to school? I can. I have tutoring. Not with fat Jenny. Hey, the layoff her, okay? Listen to you. You were the one who said that she turned you in. I know what in. I said. 
Just leave her alone. Hey, I'll leave you both alone. Come on. Look, I, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Ar, is the club meeting at your house this Friday night? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have some special fun. Oh, yeah? What's going on? Initiation. Initiation? This time of year? This one's special. <laughs> You're gonna love it. I'll see you in a minute. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Hey, I wanted to thank you for being so nice to Jack. You know, for helping him and all. Well, that was nothing. But it is. I mean, all the girls at the club were talking about it. And we were wondering if you would like to join us. Join you? Yeah, you know, be a member of the Ditchers. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Well, yeah, sure, I'd love to. Great. OK, initiation is Friday night. It's just some goofy stuff, you know, whipped cream and junk, nothing rough. Friday's fine, just fine. OK, 8 o'clock? Oh, and there's one rule. You cannot say anything to anybody. And that means anybody. I won't. Oh, can I tell my mom? If she won't tell anybody. Oh, she won't, I promise. OK, I'll see you Friday. Mom, yeah, hi. I'm going to be in a club, the girls' club. Yeah, yeah, Mom, and I'm going to lose weight. Yeah, all the girls are skinny. Yeah, Mom, I promise. Yeah, Mom, I've got friends. Oh, um, got to go. I love you. It's just that I'm on a diet right now, you know. Oh, come on. It's just us girls. 
Just a bunch of friends. You gotta be a good sport, that's one of our rules. Okay, now go on. I'll tell you when we're ready. Uh, it's just the girls for having club night. Then why'd you call me to go to the movies? We're only gonna be a few more minutes. Now wait in here, okay? Okay, but the show starts in 15 minutes. We'll make it, don't worry. Hey, towels are no fair. I, um, but I feel kind of funny. Come on, you gotta be a good sport. If you wanna be in this club. Come on, here we go. This is going to be fun. Okay, now you go in here and I'll go see if they're ready, okay? Okay. You ready? Oh my god. Let me out! Let me out! Please, let me out! Right, let her out. Oh, God, you guys are no fun. What's this all about? We're just having a little fun. Stop being so serious. You call that fun? You're really sick, you know that? Jenny! She'll be all right. Come on, we'll go to the movies. And there's your change. Thanks. Well, hi. You got your ordering again tonight? No, these are for me. Two of everything on the top shelf. I thought you were on a diet. No, what for? Everyone loves the fat girl. We're happy. We laugh all the time. You never have to worry about your boyfriends being around us. We're jolly, you know. Hey, are you okay? Just hurry up and fill the order. Hi, Jenny. Mr. Smith. Uh, how much will that be? That'll be five fifty. Keep the change. Jenny, I want to talk to you for a minute. Um, uh, I'm in a hurry. Uh, it's initiation night tonight, and I'm picking up the donuts for all my friends. I know, Jack. Just call me. told me he was upset, he was worried about you. No, he wasn't. You listen to me. Now, what those girls did to you tonight was hurtful and it was cruel. But what you're doing now is just as wrong. But I want them to be my friends. Well, they're not. And who the hell wants people like that as friends anyway? You don't understand. You don't know what it's like being a fat girl. Listen, if you don't like the way you are, then do something about it. I'm trying. For how long? What, till something like this happens and you start in all over again? Jenny, listen. The best friend you've got in this world is you. If you don't like yourself, it doesn't make any difference how many other people.
Art, you follow us, will you? Why is he here? I don't want to see him now. Why? Because he saw me. He's here because he cares about you. You know, you said you had no friends. You got one now. Don't turn away from him. Now go on. Go on. Are you all right? Yeah. Couldn't believe those girls tonight. I tried to stop you, but... They're just a bunch of dummies. You really were worried about me, weren't you? Of course I was. It kind of scared me you were so upset. I know. Because you saw me, nothing like a fat girl in a bathing suit. Then lose weight. God, I want to. Well, then do it. If I can pass algebra, then you can lose weight. <laughs> i tell you what. You don't let me get away without studying, and I won't let you get away with eating. By the end of the year, you'll be thinner, and I'll be smarter. <laughs> what do you say, friend? Sounds good, friend. Watch some TV? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Something. What? I do love this job. <laughs> you know what? What? So do I. <laughs> <laughs> 